The first place Transition Academy, operated by Sark, is turning the impossible into a world of what's possible. Take a moment to consider the following statistics. 64% of adults with autism have no post-secondary education. 33% report no connection to their greater community. 81% have never lived outside the family home. And 90% are underemployed or unemployed. When we hear these numbers, the impossibilities seem endless. At the start of the academy, these numbers were all too real. Let me take a minute to share three stories with you of students and their background when they came to the academy. Craig had graduated college, double major, magna cum laude, but could not secure a job and had not ever successfully lived away from home. Josh was 35 years old living at home, and he had never been in the community without family or paid support help. And finally, Dylan graduated from high school without a next step. Experiencing the all too common service cliff, he went from extensive supports in his high school to no supports at all, spending his days sitting at home. All three of these stories, all three of these students came to the academy from a world of disappointment. But through the work of First Place and Sark, they are realizing all that is possible for their life. Remember Josh, the 35-year-old living at home? In just 12 short months, his days have changed. Josh gets up at 6 a.m. He travels by public transportation downtown to Chase Field, where he works for the Diamondbacks. For those of you that have been to Chase Field, you can appreciate that that is a massive, complicated space. Josh navigates the ballpark like a pro, completing each of his tasks with an attention to detail. After work, he hops on the light rail and heads to Gateway Community College, where he takes courses. Courses specifically developed by First Place in Sark to teach the ins and outs of adult life. After class, he hops on the bus and heads to his apartment. This is where the real work of independent living begins. He meal plans, he cooks, he cleans, he budgets. Each day, Josh navigates our community and continues his education. When Josh started the program, the picture of independence was a little different. When he began, he had never cooked a meal independently. In fact, in his first week in the academy, he nearly caught his microwave on fire making pizza bites. <laughs> This was a safety hazard, but also a nutritional one. <laughs> Josh now cooks meals from scratch. Just the other day, he cooked up some brown sugar encrusted tilapia with a side of asparagus, <laughs> a recipe he found on Pinterest. <laughs> Josh, who had never traveled in the community alone, now takes a complicated route of light rail and bus stops each day to get to work and class. How many of you could have gotten here this morning taking public transportation? <laughs> Josh could help you with that. Josh, who had never had a job, a paycheck, created or lived in a budget, has now saved enough money for the first and last month's rent on his next place. All that was once impossible becomes possible. <laughs> As you can see through Josh's story and many others, the Academy is helping individuals with autism turn those impossibilities into possibilities. But it is not something we can do alone. A supportive community is the glue that makes these moments happen. When we think about Josh and his success, it's not only because of his hard work and commitment, but it's because of partnerships like the Diamondbacks, who competitively employ and support individuals with autism. It's because of partnerships like Gateway Community, who create spaces where students can learn and socialize. Finally, it's because of neighbors. Neighbors who are there to answer a question 
or provide you with a cup of sugar when you're making tilapia. Together, we are all a part of changing those daunting statistics. But more importantly, we're changing lives. Thank you.